So the other thing that we did was, and you can't really see it because they're covered by concrete, but the set screws to secure the rebar is right here. Right. On Zern, it's right here. So you can't get an impact wrench in here to tighten it up. You're right. doing, you know, old school ratchet right. stuff. So that's why we orientate it right here. And we learned all that right. because we installed Zern and Atco and all those guys. Right. And we said, oh, we got to build this so it's better for the contractor. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why it's long lengths, the steel re rebar guides, the set screw in the right spot, the plywood in the top. And how, what's the, what is the length? Uh, eight footers. Eight, this is eight? Yeah, eight footers. Always but, eight footers, kind of? Well, I thought it was ten. we make exact run lengths. So, um, we build a, we build our slot pipe in ten foot sections, but the trench drain will build in eight footers. Now, we have built the trench drain in sixteen footers. We did a port upon beach job um, a couple years ago. Right. Those were either sixteen footers or twenty footers, and the contractor asked them to build us that way. Because it was, uh, like, just long runs. Well, let me ask you this. What about, um... And all the end caps and outlets are already attached at the factory. So you don't have to do that out here in the field, you know, in uh, June at 100 degrees. You're, when the trench drain shows up, it's, it's just ready to install. But is this one is... That's the end cap. Oh, so it's okay. solid. It's solid. That's yeah. already done? Yeah, that's already done. That already done. And it's, it's watertight. It's already attached. It's, you know, it's not a plastic assembly or something like that that you have to... Okay, and then... Where are your outlets? All the way at the end of the run. So if we go down there. So you can see. Yeah. So the way we did that is we put a pipe stub out there on it and the way we adapted to the contact was we just fiberglassed it on. So we used resin, resin and paste and some cloth and we uh, just fabricated it out here in the field. Okay. T typically we, we would ship it with the SDR 35 outlet and then the customer would just firm, firm curl over to ADS pipe or contact or whatever they want. And it, if they're using SDR it would just go right together. Okay, but so what you did here, I'm sorry, explain it again. On, on this, we just glassed it on. So we pushed the contact pipe right up against our pipe stub. Right. And then we used uh, fiberglass cloth and resin and, uh -huh. and, uh, and, and just wrapped it around and it's a solid seal. So did, how did you, when it was folded to the contractor, I guess? Yeah. It was, they quoted that in to be done like that? How would they quote that? Like, just as a regular outlet. Oh, just as an outlet. Yeah. Okay. To adapt to... Uh, yeah, to... Just the size is important. So in this case, it's 12-inch pipe. Oh, okay. And uh, we thought we were going to install ADS pipe out here. Uh,